Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up and create a simple frame by frame animation, just like you see here. Open Photoshop and create a new document by going to File, New. I'm gonna use 1920 by 1080 pixels, 72 PPI, and for background contents, select Transparent, then click OK. Go up to the top menu, click on Window, and select Timeline. Make sure you check Create Frame Animation, and then click Create Frame Animation. To add additional frames to your timeline, go down to the very bottom where you see the little plus icon. I'll just click that three times so I have a total of four frames. And if every time you click on the plus icon, it adds a new frame in the layers panel, that just means that if you click on the hamburger menu, that you have this option checked to create a new layer each time you create a new frame. It's okay either way. I'm going to rename each layer by simply double clicking on the layer name. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna select all four layers. I'm gonna drag it on the little folder icon to make a group. I'm gonna call this one line art. I'm gonna duplicate the line art group. I can use command or control J or simply drag the group right onto the plus icon at the bottom of the layers panel. I'll double click. I'm gonna call this group color. I want the line art to be on top of the color, so I'm just gonna select the color group and drag it below the line art folder. I'm just gonna select frame one. I'm gonna to toggle off the visibility of all the frames. I'll toggle on the visibility for layer one in both color and the line art group. I'll click on frame two. I'll toggle off the visibility for layer one. I'm gonna to toggle on the visibility for layer two in color and layer two on line art. Select frame three, toggle off the visibility of the previous frames, toggle on the visibility of layer three in both groups. Select frame four, toggle off the visibility of the previous frames, toggle on the visibility of layer four in both groups. Then when I click on each frame, you will see the eyeball jump to the corresponding frame in both groups. I'm going to collapse the color group I'll select frame one in the timeline. You'll see the eyeball jumps to layer one. Then I'm just going to select layer one. I'll tap B for the brush tool. I'm gonna to use one of Kyle Webster's brushes in the mega pack called American Comics Inker. I'll reset the color swatches to black and white by tapping on the D key. Frame one is selected, layer one is selected. With the brush tool, I'm simply gonna draw out my name and I'm just using a mouse, so this is not gonna be perfect. I'm just showing you to give you some ideas. First frame done. I'll select frame two. The eyeball jumps to layer two, but I need to click on layer two to select it. And to make it easier to trace, I'm gonna select layer one, toggle on the visibility, and I'm gonna lower the opacity down to 50%. Now I'll select layer two again. Now I will just trace out the letters with the brush tool, and this is gonna give it that line boil effect. Then click on frame three, select layer three, toggle on and select layer two and lower the opacity to 50%. Select layer three and just trace over the letters. Select layer two, bring the opacity back to 100%, toggle off the visibility of layer two, select frame four, select frame four in the layers panel, toggle on layer three, select layer three, Bring the opacity to 50%, select layer four. With the brush tool, trace layer four. And if I tap the spacebar, we have an animation. I collapse the line art group and expand the color group. Select frame one, select layer one in the color group. Grab a brush. I'm using Kyle's Copier Rat. I change the color to a blue and I'm simply going to color in and this is going below the line art layer. Select frame two, select layer two and just brush on the color. No need to change the opacity since you're not tracing. Then just color in the remaining frames. I added a background layer at the bottom of the layers panel and changed the timing to 0.1 seconds. Tap play, and now we have ourselves a simple frame-by-frame -frame animation built in Adobe Photoshop CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.